Now today we'll be making part three of an Adopt Me game on Scratch. If you haven't watched part two or part one, the link will be in the description below. And also remember to like this video and subscribe. Let's get on with the video. So we ended up by making the loading bar, we made the buttons, we made the ads, we made the robots, we made the clicker. So now we're all, today we're going to be making the shop. So let's go to paint and let's make a little square about that big. Probably not center, don't center it yet. You're going to want to put some lines on the top right there to make a little shop. We're gonna, on the screen, we're going to make it smaller, probably 40 or 50, 60. So 60 looks fine, we're just going to put it on the side of the screen, and then we're going to code it. So, when flag clicked, go to this position. So go to this position and hide. Um, but when I receive... When I receive show, um, when I receive show Robux pets, you want to show. So when when so when we push on this, we want to make it so we go into a different background. So we're gonna do we're gonna make another background. Go to backgrounds, just make a random background, so I'm just going to duplicate this white one and put it right over here, and we're going to call it shop, call it shop, and we're not going to show that background just yet, we're just going to go to backgrounds again, and we're going to... We're gonna change it when we when we see it. So when when the spread is clicked, we're gonna broadcast shop. Oh wait, I think I think we already have that actually. Yep, we have shop open. We're gonna broadcast shop open. Just write shop open on the thing. So we're gonna broadcast shop open and we're gonna hide. Gonna hide. So when these things receive shop open, when I receive shop open, it's gonna hide. And same with the other things that show usually. So so probably just that's all. So also we're gonna change the backdrop. Switch backdrop to backdrop shop. So let's see if this works. Okay, so now it works. We just need to make a back button now. So we're gonna go to this paint thing and we're gonna make a back button. So now we need it we made a little back button. So when fly click, go to that position and hide. That position and hide. And when I when I receive shop open show. And if the sprite is if the sprite is clicked, broadcast shop close. So ju just type a new message and type shop close, and then broadcast shop close, and then hide. And let's do that to all of them. When when I receive shop closed. 
padre. So let's test this thing. Let's go here. And we're gonna push no thanks. Let me go to shop and go back. But now the the dollar sign disappeared. So now we're gonna make the dollar sign. Whenever you see shop close, it's gonna hide. Or show. Show. So now let's do it. And also when this when this receives shop closed. When I receive shop closed. This is going to show. Alright, let's do it. And so we go shop, we go back, we go shop, we go back, we click a little, get up our cash, go back. So now we have a nice game, but we need to make something in the shop. So something we can make in the shop is probably a unicorn. We can make a unicorn in the shop, so we're going to just make a new, sh um, upload a sprite. So you can just get a picture from the internet. Of a unicorn, so I guess what I did, the dot unicorn, and we're gonna set the size to probably 50 or 40. So 40 looks fine. We're gonna put the unicorn in the shop. So um, one fly clicked, go to that position and hide. And um, we want it to make it so when I receive shop open, show, and when I receive shop close, hide. So when I receive shop close, hide. So, um, we want to make it so when you press on it or something like that, when you touch it, then it will say something else. So go to one slide clicked. If sensing, touching mouse pointer, it should say something like say. It should say, um, 250 of I don't know. Which it is. For 0 0.1 seconds. So, and we're gonna make it so you buy it. So then fly click. If, an if block. Be forever, if and else, we need that. <clears throat> um, we're gonna do an or block, a equal sign, a greater sign, like that. And we're gonna do money inside it, if Robux actually, if Robux equals the amount 250 250 change robux by negative 250 <clears throat> and show list it's gonna Add unit one. Oops. Add unit one to items and show the list. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And now it's gonna show the list for just a little bit amount of seconds for about one second and it's gonna height list. You can do it for actually three seconds. Else, it doesn't matter, you don't have to do it else. So let's see if this works. 
many things. Good shop. 250 Robux. Oh, we also have to put a forever block in it. So it's 250 if I want to buy it. It should go down. So if it's 150 Robux. So we don't have enough Robux right now. So we're going to just get change Robux by 1000. Canal of it. So we're probably gonna have to reload it again. So you can see we have um to take out the forever walk and actually just not put it in. So it's just no things. And let's set the Robux to 1000. Let's go to shop. Let's buy it. We're not gonna show the list actually. So, <clears throat> so we just bought a unicorn. Now we have 750. We just bought a unicorn. It takes a little while for it to go down, but it will go down. So yeah. And we can also put, if we want to make it go run faster, we can also put a repeat block. One time. Oh, that's the problem. It, it's not a one fly clicked, it's one sprite clicked. That was the bad thing. So, now it should work 100%, so let's just try it out. So now we're just pressing it, pressing it, pressing it, and it's adding unicorn to our items. So if we want to show the list when we're looking at the unicorn at the same time, I'm just going to show list with 0 0.3 seconds and then it's going to hide the list. 3 seconds and then it's going to hide the list. So let's do it now. Oh we have 0 robux so we have to get more. change so you can make your game get robux like every one minute maybe but yeah so you can do that so my robux is so i'm just buying it look now i have kitsunas so many unicorns because i bought so many i bought another one i bought another one and now i have so many so if you like this tutorial like this video and subscribe